I'm going to make one of the classic, great springtime dishes of Greece. It's an artichoke stew. We call it anginares a la polita. Here is an artichoke that many of you may not ever have seen. This is a wild artichoke from Crete. I'm gonna have to clean it. It takes a little bit of patience and care to get through, but it's well worth it because artichokes are one of the healthiest vegetables we can eat. They're filled with fiber, very few calories, and they're one of the richest sources of antioxidants of all the vegetables. So what we want to end up with is an artichoke that looks like an inverted champagne glass. And we always have a bowl of acidulated water. That's nothing but water mixed with lemons. You dip that in there and we do that to keep the artichokes from oxidizing. We want to keep their color as white as possible. Of course, really great Greek extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna get my onions. They just need to sweat a little bit. This dish always has a little bit of scallion. You could add leeks. I'm adding my scallions. Coating them in olive oil, like I always do. Next go in the carrots. Potatoes. What you wanna watch out for in this dish is the size of the vegetables. I prefer them a little bit chunky to keep them you know, fairly close to the size of the artichokes. This dish is in the category of dishes that we call la vera, olive oil based dishes. Next are champagne glass artichokes. Now there's a trick to this. You wanna get them in the pot with the stems upright. And I have one surprise. I'm just gonna add a little salt and a little sugar, artichokes need sugar because they're very they have a very sour aftertaste now i'm going to show you my little twist on this dish this is greek saffron from an area called kozani that's going to give a very delicious aroma to this dish it pairs very beautifully with the lemon with the olive oil with all those wonderful grassy flavors next are lemon i like to use something that the greeks call alevro lemono that's basically lemon juice mixed with flour, a little bit of flour. I'm just gonna pour my lemon juice into a little bowl, mix it with a little bit of flour. And that's really all it takes. And finally, I'm gonna add my herbs, dill and wild fennel, which is a very traditional Greek herb. The only place in the United States I have ever seen wild fennel is growing out of the sidewalks in San Francisco. If you can't find it, you can always use fennel bulb. Just cut it up together with the onion and the leek or the scallion and saute it in the very beginning of this dish. So here we have it, our dill and our wild fennel. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I want it to come you know, just about halfway up the artichokes. And that's about it. This will cook down to a delicious, almost creamy sauce, even though there's absolutely no dairy in this dish. Let's see what we have here. Wow, it smells great. It looks even better, and the saffron is out of this world. Let's serve. Yeah, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. The finale, of course, extra virgin PDO Kalamata olive oil. This is so delicious. It's one of my favorite springtime dishes. It smells great. You can see the saffron. It's got, the colors are beautiful. You really want to eat this.